Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we are going to be building this structure right here in front of us. I want to be starting up a new tutorial series, so we're going to be working on this. It's a three-story like townhouse, bakery, something or another. Uh, it's kind of an oriental style as you can see. So without too much more, let's get into it. So to start off, you want to give yourself a 12 by 12 area. That part there on the back is optional. It's another three, so you'd need 15 by 12, and then that would be totally fine to fit this build in. But so to start out, you want to come down here and do oak beams on the front, going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and bring those all the way up. Next, you want to come over here and create just filling in this square that we have down here. You want to be adding the diorite. Quick correction, this here on the front needs to be four high, not three high. My bad. So next you want to bring the box up that we were creating all the way up to being four high. While we're down here, we might as well cut out the door. So you want to come over while well, you're looking at the front. It's on the right side. You want to come in two blocks from the wall and create a little opening right there and place down a door. I use the acacia door, but you can really use whatever you want. And over here, next you want to go ahead and come in and go one over and break open a four wide win or two by two window and place stairs at the bottom. And you want to skip another block and do that again. Then I use the window pane one pane, it's called, and I use that in here. You could use regular glass for this as well. Whatever kind of color you want there, it can really work. Next, to create our second floor, you want to come over here with your oak beams and place them horizontally and creating a larger, more of a rectangle shape up on top now. And then below that, you want to come in with the little oak beams, which is a new block added in the most recent update. This is an extra bit here. You don't have to do it, but it adds a lot of bit of detail here. You want to place them all the way along the edge here. If we can get this to place correctly. And then if you right click on them again without crouching, it'll add that little extended bit out there to, the to whatever one you want to do. And you want to do that at the top so it provides more support for that and gives a cool angle to the area. So then now that we have the whole base structure filled in for the bottom area besides the actual interior, you can go ahead and fill this in with whatever wood flooring block you want to be using. Here I'm using the pine planks just so that it it's a lighter wood texture, but it doesn't fully fill in the area. You want to go ahead and fill in this whole area inside the main building as well. Now grabbing your dark gray stone brick stairs. Sorry, you want to be coming up four stair blocks here on the right side of the building, creating your platform at the top area. Then you want to grab your dark gray stone bricks and bring those all the way across here, creating a little bit of a closed off area down on the bottom. Go ahead and fill this in just like here. So you're leaving in the middle, there's a two wide gap. If you hit C in Concourse Reforged, you can grab different blocks. Here we're gonna be grabbing the arch. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be coming in here and placing that to round out the top bit of the area. Now you wanna break open this that bit inside that we had before as part of the main wall there in order to create a back doorway entrance for, to the bakery, which is gonna be on the bottom floor. Then here you can go ahead and grab doors if you go to advanced blocks and scroll all the way down, you can see all the doors in here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our oak door. So it's a little bit stronger and not as fashionable as the acacia door. What you can also do here to bring this to connect these archways down to the bottom more is you can go ahead and place trap doors on the sides here. That is optional though. It's really up to whatever you want to be doing. Now for the second floor, you want to be grabbing your oak beams again, the full block and bringing this up four high on both corners. Then you want to follow suit with the diorite brick and bring that all the way up, creating a U-shape this time instead of fully filling in the square. On that platform we made back here on the right side, go ahead and count in one block from the side and break up an area for a doorway. Then move over two more blocks and break open an area for another doorway. This will be how we get to our second and third floor. Next, you want to come in with some Tudor frame vertical connected blocks and place these going up three high. On top of the vertical frame, or the tutor blocks, you want to go ahead and fill in this area with oak beams again using the full block going horizontally instead of vertically this time. In order to place a railing going all the way around our area here, you want to go ahead and start doing the vertical half slabs of the dark gray stone brick going all the way around. And use, skipping every block and going too high, then below those you want to go ahead and place a trap door. In between you want to come back and place in a trap door here as well. Then up on the next level, go ahead and place a block behind where those empty gaps are and fill that in again with another trap door. 
just like this. In order to add a bit more detail and round out the corners, go ahead and grab our oak beam, the just the regular, the oak beam that we've been using beforehand that goes on the side of the blocks and bring that all the way up to the top and up here at the top of the tutor, sorry. And then at the top of the tutor, go ahead and right click once on it to get that extra extended bit out and do that on both of the corners of the full oak beam blocks. Quick note on this last one on the left side, don't go ahead and right click it at the top, just leave it going all the way straight. Now you wanna come back in here with the horizontal oak beam and go ahead and place that on every single block going all the way around, adding this nice little covered area right here as we're creating the base for our deck. Go ahead and extend that out to be too long as well so it comes all the way out here. And then on that inner layer, you can go ahead and uh, right click on all of them to create a, if you right click on them enough, you'll see that it creates a connection between them right there. You just want to create that X on it so that they all connect over and have a fluid connection beam adding more support to our deck. Now, whatever material you want to use to the deck, go. I'm going to use spruce wood planks here, just the regular ones. And you want to bring that out too wide, going all the way around and just creating a nice small deck that's going all the way around kind of in an L shape. Moving on to the third floor now, you can go ahead and fill this area in with the pine planks as well or whatever flooring material you want to be using. In order to get access to the third floor, now that we're looking at our doors here on the right side, you want to pick the farthest one back to the wall and you want to walk in there and start placing stairs. You want to skip one block so that you can walk up the stairs, obviously, and then you want to bring that all the way up to the third floor right here. And you'll have three blocks here at the end that you can just go ahead and fill in with your flooring material. We'll come back in and place a wall in here later on. Going back to our diorite brick, you can go ahead and bring this up three high again, going all the way around. You can, what you can do here is you can either just do the U shape again, or you can go ahead and extend it all the way out onto the deck if you're interested in doing that. After you have the diorite shape that you want, you can go ahead and bring the tutor blocks all the way out and bring them all the way around the corner just like this creating a doorway here at the right side with that little L shape extended out bit. And then you want to bring that up three high as well. Back down here on the second floor, there's something I forgot to mention. In order to make this area a little bit more interesting, we're going to add a little window area that sticks out a bit. So you want to go ahead and break all six blocks right here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to use the brick trap doors and we're going to use a window. I had the wrong window block. The straight glass block trap door right there. You can see it right there, but there's a problem with these because they're kind of hard to place on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place full blocks right here, and we're gonna use slash replace four on our on just whatever tool you wanna use, then you left click and then you right click and paste that in. This is with world, with world edit, by the way, that's a world edit command right there. And then that creates a cool little sticking out window right there and it gives you an area to create a little sitting area right here where you can look outside the window. Now back to working on the deck, we're gonna go ahead and add our straight spruce railing going all the way around this, but first we wanna add in a full block so that we can have something to right click on with the spruce railing. So you wanna just right click twice so that the bar gets placed across the top. After that, you can go ahead and remove all of the full blocks that you're using. It doesn't matter what block it is, just go ahead and remove it. Now, going back to our oak beams, we're gonna grab the oak beam pillar block here so that we can create some pillars on the inside of the balcony Go ahead and do the different corners right here, bringing them up three high. Then you want to come in, skipping every two. Now you want to grab your horizontal oak beam pillow that we used beforehand. You want to go ahead and bring that out similarly to how we had it before, just stretching all the way out here. Then you want to go ahead also and bring that out to being too wide so that it has that little extended bit out over the ends here. Coming back in, you want to go ahead and right click all these again to connect them all up and just have that cohesive texture that we had beforehand. Now where things get a little bit interesting, we're gonna go ahead and work on the roof here. And what I'm using here is the light red roof tiles half slab. We're gonna basically go ahead, now oh, you gotta be careful to actually right click on that. And it's going to come all the way out and hang over just by one here on the balcony. And you wanna bring that all the way out to the corners and create and leave a little opening there on the corner so you don't bring it all the way flush. You can go ahead and carry this all the way around. Now on that corner that we left open, go ahead and bring in a half slab and bring just move that up one higher, creating a little bit of an arch to it and uplifting it on the corner. It really gives an oriental feel to the build. For the rest of the roof, go ahead on the corners and bring that in, just having it one lower there on the very corners and then bringing this all the way around, kind of creating a rounded square shape to the roofs. Go ahead and continue this layer up two more. With the shape of our deck, it causes this little weird out area here on the end if you continue the style all the way up. 
The way to smooth this out is you can come in here with a stair block and place it right there just to extend it out a little bit more so it gets that extra half block and it actually works very well. Now this top area that you have here should look something like this with the opening gap left over on it. What we want to do here is we want to place trap doors on top of this to smooth it out. But the best way to go to trap doors is by having a block under it otherwise it gets to be a little annoying. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to start out by placing the half slabs going all the way up and place a trap door right there on one of them just so that we can copy that with world edit later and paste it all the way across. Now with our replace tool you can go ahead again and left click and then right click on all of these to bring that half slab all <coughs> that trap door all the way across. Now for the last windows on this side of the build go ahead and come to this inner door and count up three blocks one two three and then on that next block go ahead and break it and place in a window whatever type of window you want to be using. And, they, and then do one over and place in another window there. Coming over to the front of the build here, go ahead and find the center two blocks here on our second floor and go ahead and place more windows in there. Then up here as well on the top floor, go ahead and count in two blocks and break the next two, place your windows in there. Then from the outside, go ahead and count in one block and break those next two and place your windows in there. You should have a three wide gap in between. Moving on to adding some detail to our tutor section in the build, you can go ahead in here and add in your corner tutor block so that the angle is coming down to the front. Then after that, go ahead and create a rounded shape here because usually if you want to add that tutor on that end, if you add this other area creating a triangle going in, going to an infinite point up there, it usually creates a cool shape to it. You want to go ahead and continue that on both sides. Now that we're right over here, you can go ahead and come down here to the next level and go ahead and do that here on our little two wide gap that we have. Now back up on our third floor, you want to come in here with your X tutor frame and place those in right here. Also, just as a quick clarification, I ended up moving this window over one more just to keep it all symmetrical. Now down here on our second floor with our one window down here in the center, you want to go ahead and create place those X blocks right there in the middle and beyond that, you want to come over here and create two of those shapes that we we're talking about previously out of the tutor blocks. Granted, the design you want to go with here on tutor designs is really up to you. It's whatever you want to do with the style. This is a, I like to do a very simple one that's not overly complicated, but still gives a nice bit of structure to it. Coming down to the final parts, to add a little bit of extra detail here and a railing for safety, go ahead and place a full block right there, then grab your spruce railing block and place it in the bottom left corner. So it comes like that, then right click it once more to get it into place. In order to add the bakery to the bottom section of the build, you wanna come inside and plan out where your fireplace is going to be, or the baker's oven actually. So you wanna get, what I wanna do here is I'm gonna count in one, and then we're gonna break these next two blocks, and we're gonna open this all the way up here. We can go ahead and remove those for now and bring this all the way down here. Because we'll be adding our fireplace down into that area later. So now that we have this open side here on the back, you want to go ahead and for starters, go ahead and bring this all the way up to the very, very top. Then moving in one block, you want to go ahead and bring this guy up one, two, three, four. After this, what I did for a top here, just to kind of mix things up, and it seemed to be a bit of an oriental design, is I used our well support object that we have, and then I used spruce wood plank trap doors on the sides I went ahead and used a spruce wood planks newel cap on top to add a little bit of a top to it. Then, next block down below, I used the diorite brick arrow slit in order to create an open area. Then from here, I went ahead and used the diorite brick trap doors and placed those on all four sides. You can see that this creates a little bit of an opening here that smoke can obviously be coming out of while not having a weird opening on the arrow slit. Moving on to detailing the chimney out, you want to go ahead and bring this up two blocks down here at the center using the vertical half slabs and then you want to go up four blocks on both sides. Quick correction, on the sides you want to bring that up five blocks high, not four. Then here in the middle you want to bring up diorite brick trap doors and bring these up four high in the middle that is. Then on the sides again you want to bring this up another two high. From here you want to grab the diorite brick corner block and go ahead and remove the rest of these full blocks up here. Then you want to bring this up three high on both sides so it's creating a nice angular shape. I always like to add a little bit of extra support to the structure and we're going to be moving into the texturing phase of the build now. So I like to go ahead and bring in some polished diorite because it's a lighter build and bring these up every other on all four corners going all the way up to the top. Looking at our old build you can see here that we used a lot of different blocks in our texturing. So at the top we have our plastered stone, then we have our light gray stone brick, then we have diorite itself mixed in, then down here for a darker base we have granite mixed in. 
I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process as I go ahead and place in the texturing on all of the sides of our building here and you'll be able to see the final. to how we're doing this texturing here but we're creating a gradient going from light to dark from the top down to the bottom it is a little noisy in areas but you can see through that process i was constantly moving and changing where i place the blocks down it's something that you just kind of need to practice and work with and over time you'll figure out what you want to be doing now to create this back little area if you do want to end up using it go ahead and grab a wall of oak log slab that's what i'm choosing to use here and bring that out from there bringing it out from, so you're starting in from basically the same walking height platform that you're at, so four blocks up, and then you wanna bring that out and then bring it out down one, and then bring this out down one as well. So this is up a extra half slap than normal for how we can use fences, but because of the new rustic fence that was added in, you can go ahead and grab the rustic fence small pillar block actually and go ahead and it extends out of its regular block radius and actually will come into that upper area allowing you to actually create a full looking roof right there and having it be one higher than normal then go ahead and bring the half slabs all the way across creating a little overhang area coming into our second floor here now we have to create an area that stops the people who live on the third floor being able to get to the second floor and vice versa so we have our white stucco block here that we're going to go ahead and build a wall going directly back to here and what you can do from here is just create a corner off this area so that you have your own little personal area. How you divide up these rooms is really up to you. I'll show you how I did it over in the other area instead of building it here just to give you guys some ideas on the interiors themselves. One thing I forgot to mention during the video or during while we were doing the roof is you want to come in here with the half slabs of the same roof material you used and come in counting one in from where it is and using or not half slabs, sorry, trap doors, and bring this in to kind of round off this area and it helps that corner bit look like it's a bit taller and more of that oriental style. And there you have it guys, that is the whole tutorial on our base build that we did there. If you'd like to see the extra bits that I added into this building itself, I've done the first floor bakery and all of that, stay tuned here and we're gonna get going through it right now. So out here on the front, I ended up bringing this oak beam out one and using a horizontal oak beam there that clicked a few times to get it to stick out in all directions. Then we hung item frames from it with a little piece of bread in it showing that it's a bakery. Out here in the front though, we just added some seating areas and things like that for the bakery customers to be able to buy their food and come out here and sit using multiple of the terracotta urns and then right clicking it once to get the top on it in order to have some type of a pot for our plants. Over here onto the other outside, we went ahead and used these urns again for plants and we're using the bracken plant right here in order to have some just greenery entering into this back area. Now here we went ahead and just add some random bits of storage using crates and barrels and all that kind of stuff. Then in here in the back, we went ahead and continued that on here and added some more outside storage. These barrels right here I thought were really cool and I wanted to add in a lot of them, but if they're sitting like this, they would roll away. So I went ahead and added a stair block using the oak platform stairs as somewhat of a buffer so the barrels couldn't just roll off into the distance if something upset them. Finishing up the outside bits of detail up here on our second flight, I added a little table and chair and a little book and quill with a flower pot so that somebody could come out here and sit and just hang out. I added a torch here in, which has a cool new 3D model that I actually just noticed while recording this video that when you place it on the side of a wall in Reforge, you get this cool 3D texture. I think that came with the Rebellion pack. Up here on the roof, I ended up keeping it very, very simple 
and just added in a table and chair and another table and chair over here in the corner. Now for the interior that I did do, down here on the bottom, we came in here, you're coming right in here into the bakery and you're instantly come up to a bar where the patrons could sit at, the customers, once they've ordered their food. So here somebody got a jug of milk and some bread and they're just chilling there eating. And then we got, this would be like a menu or something. Over here, we have our back room for the store. So this is kind of the countertop where the sales would happen over. And then back here, we have our baker's oven, which just using the metal grates, we're able to create a cool little oven in here that has a fire down below, has an area for the smoke to go up through the chimney, and we have a few pieces of bread just sitting in there baking. Going on, we added in a lot of bits of details here with tables and chairs, bringing in that whole bakery feel using some plates somewhere where they could roll out flour, pots and pans, more storage up here and different types of goods that they could use for making carrot cake, apple pie, then we have barrels of bread over here and some herbs that they could use for spicing up their bread, a scale for making the sales, and all of that good stuff. In the back here, we just have a really, really simple storage area that I didn't quite finish, but you can see that we just have some firewood here stored for the fire to keep it going all day long. We have the bucket, we have some tools, we have a few of these new crates that just have different goods in them. And it, if you guys are curious, if you right click it once, it tilts it, which you could use us in a market stall, which actually be really fun to do later on. That is gonna do it for today's video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy your Oriental Baker's house with some apartments living on top of it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys enjoy these tutorials, if you guys want me to do more, if you have ideas for what you guys wanna see, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. But as always guys, I hope you enjoy this episode. Please hit that like and subscribe button down below if you really loved it. And as always guys, I will see you in the next episode.